Hello guys, welcome back to another video, and today we're going to be doing Lumber Tycoon Part 2. So, er, not Part 2, Part 4, sorry. So, in today's video, we're going to be making the, uh, moving a bit more smooth, because, uh, last video was kind of, like, bumpy, uh, because we tried to make it, uh, multiplayer friendly, and it kind of made it a bit rough, so, we're just going to be making it a bit smooth, smoother in this video. So, how we're going to be doing this is using the lerp function. Basically, it smoothly moves an object between two points. And in this video, we're not going to be doing it completely correct because uh, the correct way, just I couldn't get it to work for some reason. It just didn't work. It just decided it didn't want to work. <laughs> so we're just going to be doing it like this. Uh, but this way still works fine. Okay. So... Since we're going to be lerping um, a ton of objects, let's first make a dictionary that can hold all of these objects. So, or objects in position. So, we're going to say local moving is equal to curly brackets. That's either, that means it's either a list or a dictionary. It could be either one. So, what we're going to be doing is instead of saying holdy.position, let me just get rid of that, we're going to be saying uh, that you were. <laughs> You're just going to be adding it, adding something to the actual uh, moving list instead of just moving the object. So we're going to say moving dot or moving holdy, holdy being the key to the dictionary, and this is just going to be creating an like a new dictionary object. So we're going to say moving holdy is equal to a, another curly brackets. We're, inside of this, we're going to put uh, position. So I'll print this out for you to show you what it looks like. So basically, if we grab the object, oh yeah, I'm Popcat. <laughs> if we grab the object, it'll create a dictionary with the instance being the key. So that's the object that we're touching and the position. This is the mouse position. And that looks fine. Oh. Okay, so we can delete that. And now we have to have a way to remove it from the list once we're actually done with it. So how we're gonna be doing that is we're gonna check if bool is equal to false, then, oh, I forgot to put a double equals, equals equals false, then we're going to say moving holdy is equal to nil. That's just going to remove it from the list. There could there could be a function that removes items from dictionaries, but I don't know of any, and I tried to look for one, and it, I couldn't find anything. So if you know one, tell me in the comments, but I have no idea. Oh, did you guys hear that thunder? That was pretty loud. Might not have. But, uh, yeah. So what we're going to do now is actually move the items, or objects, really through like through to the new position so what we're gonna say is while wait do and inside of here we're going to do do a for loop so we can move everything inside of moving at once say for key value in pairs moving this basically means uh for key which is this value which is this in pairs moving so throughout moving we're going to look for the key and the value okay so what we're going to say here is key dot c frame is equal to key dot c frame lerp this is the lerp function that i was talking about lerp and then we're going to say c frame dot new position and then oh oh sorry not position value one and it's not zero because dictionaries work different than normal like computer numbers i guess because usually in lists it would be zero one two three four but in dictionaries it's one two three four five okay then after here we're going to put uh the well 
in normal terms, it would be the like progress of the LERP. But in this case, we're going to be using it as the, the slowness or speed. Uh, because we're going through it and we're we're doing the not not the original uh positions so it would just do 0 0.25 0 0.25 0 0.25 0 0.25 every time so yeah it should work <laughs> that probably didn't make any sense but it doesn't really need to make sense <laughs> okay so this should actually work we have all of our stuff in here we have the variable we have the removing of items in the variables we have uh setting the variables or not variables the objects in the dictionary and we move the objects in the dictionary okay if we run this it should work popcat <laughs> okay we move it and it's smooth see this so smooth and run it through this yes i know that glitch still happens i'll fix it don't worry so smooth so smooth pop cat <laughs> i'll also fix this but it's fun while it lasts right gotta enjoy it okay well <laughs> that'll be the end of this video See you in the next one. Bye.